All right, people. So here we are. We're back. I uh, I noticed there will be a glare on the screen for a few minutes, but it'll be gone, and I won't make it pop back up. So we're gonna get busy. We have a. Uh, I realize a map is important in the cave because we're gonna go down deep and we need to know how far down the diamonds are oh look this little pig came up in here hello we'll take that that'll be food for our wolf if he so happens to get hungry and we're gonna take a little trip into the mine right here as you can see it's nighttime out there so we're gonna get busy no dedications this time I'm not filming this for any particular request I just couldn't get enough I've been itching to play so we're gonna do this here got some iron already all right we are gonna block that up and there's even more water So, this is probably just going to be a dead end, basically. But until it gets... Oh, alright, good. We can plug that up. Until it becomes light outside, we might as well just see what we can find. Dead end? Nope. Maybe not dead end. That's alright. Let's get some ores. So uh, when it becomes light outside I'm actually gonna set up a little wheat farm. You know just to get some bread and wheat's always good for uh, <clears throat> taking care of some cows because we're going to need leather first thing we do when we find diamonds is we're going to get an enchantment table popping we're also going to make a diamond pickaxe so we can enchant oh god I almost hit my dog that would not be cool I'm pretty sure he'd turn on me I'm not, maybe that's just wolves I'm not, entirely clear on that one uh, let's get that piece of coal and let's finally dig some gravel and get some flint up in this piece definitely need the flint yes We need a flint and steel, and we need to be able to make some more arrows. I love, love the bow and arrow. Love to take out monsters from a distance. It's just a good, good, clean, wholesome fun, pretty much. I'm just going to get as much gravel as we can. Or as much flint as we can, I should say. Just keep shoveling until the shovel breaks, probably. Why don't you sit down, buddy? You're making me nervous. Yeah, have a seat. Put your head in the rock. Oh, that was quick. All right. Right, you can get up just take it easy all right just take it easy it's 
torches up. We don't want any monsters of any kind sneaking up on us for any reason. And go ahead and get that back now that the water is gone. <clears throat> I believe I saw some iron. The coal also gives you the XP. The iron will give you XP once you smelt it. That's good business. Hopefully, uh, I noticed the inventory wasn't coming up too clean on the video, the previous videos, but hopefully this will, whoa, I hear a zombie. Hopefully this will, uh, you can see a little better, I hope. That would be nice. <clears throat> Somebody pointed out that uh, I kind of move fast through the inventory. That's just, you know, it just comes from being a pro, I guess. That's all I can really say. But I want you guys to be able to see what I'm doing. So right here we got a couple pieces of flint, a couple sticks and some feathers and there's the arrows so that's lovely uh what else can i toss in here anything anything i'm not really sure could make another bucket that could always work i might take these saplings <clears throat> uh, you know what? I don't need those ingots right there. Let's put that map in so we can just see what level we're on. See, we're on Y62. You like to go down to Y11 to find diamonds, ideally. Let's go ahead and get that back. Just because it's ours. Never have too much stone. We're probably going to jump back to the, uh, the place where we were. Let's make some more sticks. Take half of these planks. Boom. Now let's take half of those sticks, half of this coal, and we're in business. Plenty of torches. Plenty of torches to go around. Alright, that was the dead end. Could actually probably block that off, but we don't worry about it too much. So yeah, we're going to jump back down that hole. I'm going to go up, set up a little garden, and then we will jump back down into the cave from the first episodes, <clears throat> and we'll be on the hunt for diamonds. I think I'm actually going to go outside. It's looking pretty, pretty inviting out there. I have to say. Alright. We're gonna go. It's time to get busy. I hear monsters out there dying, so maybe we'll get some of their goodies. There's a creeper. Skeletons and zombies galore. I'd like to get some arrows if I can. Here's a baby. Let's mess him up. Oh, he's still alive? Okay. My dog's got you. 
Well, you're finished. There's a spider. We'll kill him and take his string. I'll take that. Even the spider eye, if you like. Oh, yeah, here's a bone and some swords. They're not uh, swords. You know what those things are. What are they? They are called arrows. Let's see if we can get another dog. Hey, we got another one. Get up, buddy. You're with us. Alright. Now, here is a cool trick. I used to just punch all this grass to uh, make it, you know, get some seeds for myself. But actually what you can do is just toss a bucket of water and uh, everywhere the water touches, it will cut the grass basically for you, or it used to. Yeah, there we go. It's happening. It's happening. See, now we're getting seeds, and we're just going to plant. Here's some more bones. And the water is just flowing. You got to make sure you pick it back up with your safety bucket. And we're just going to keep cutting the grass until we got a nice little stretch of land to farm in. And we got some cows right here. So they'll make some babies and we'll, uh, we'll have some leather and some other good things happening for us. So we're just cutting the grass, cutting the grass. I'll show you how to make a little endless water supply if I can do it right. Which I think I can. I think I can. Also replant some of these, uh, <clears throat> yeah, see, now that's how you clear out some farmland. That's how you do it. That's how it's done. Alright, what we're going to do is dig right here. Make a little endless water supply. Alright, I'm going to need you bros to sit and just relax. Thank you. Okay. So check this out. A little trick I learned. We're going to toss some water in there. And we're going to get one more bucket of water. Where's the closest water? Let's look on the map. Let's go that way. Jump, jump, jump. some water and once we get this endless water supply we will use our hoe and we will make some magic happen might want to fence it off because these cows are going to be walking all over my stuff so I put I placed the water in this area in this corner so you want to go in the opposite corner place it again and there's an endless water supply alright now don't need the map at this instant what we do need is another shovel not another shovel what's it called right, let's get that bone out of there yeah another shovel so Where's my little base? I walked right past it, didn't I? Sure do. Oh, we need to eat. Definitely need to eat. Okay. Craft. A little stone shovel, if you will. That'll work. Right. Ooh, hello. Fancy meeting you here.
Oh yes. We'll take it. That's an iron pickaxe and we'll also have some boots now. So we're set. We're good to go. Let's uh smelt. Let's get in the smelting business. And we'll come back to that when we're ready to jump down into the pit. All right, all right. We're just gonna, I'm just gonna get busy right here, pretty much. Let's just make a little more room. And we'll just dig a little trench. Dig a little trench. Dig a little trench. Dig a little trench. Okay. Dig a little trench. Dig a little trench. Getting busy. We're farming. Oh, no, 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 All right. Let's switch the camera view up some. Okay, 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 okay. We're doing good. Oh. All right, let's get the water going. Let's get it going. Water, 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 water on it up, water on it up. Uh huh. Not worried about making it too pretty just right now. We just want a little functional situation. OCD is going on, I'm trying to make the water look like it's supposed to be chilling. All right, and we are almost situated, I believe. Wait, what? What just happened? Got a couple more to go. No, I'm, I'm kind of a novice at the making mile. I actually saw a... Alright, that's just weird. I'm not going to worry about it. I make... I'll probably make a few references to uh, this thing called Trinity Island. Which was Captain Sparkle's the Syndicate Project. Uh, I forget the guy's name. I just call him Tucker. But he actually has like a YouTube name. Oh, Jericho AFK. Oh my god, it's Firefox. They uh they had this little series called Trinity Island. And they did this farming thing where they did it right on the edge of the water. And that's actually what I prefer to do. But uh you know, this is just something different I'm trying. <clears throat> so we're going to have some wheat growing. You'd like to place a torch because the light helps your, uh, your stuff grow. Now if you sneak like this, you can walk on your hoed dirt. You don't have to worry about it turning into regular grass again. So yeah, my water looks a little crazy. Like these waters are straight. But these ones are acting funny. That's alright though. Okay, we're gonna light it up. We're gonna light it up. And you should be solid. Actually, put a torch here. And then the 
the torch here. Now, let's go back and uh, grab that iron. You know what? Let's get our dogs. So I think we're getting close to the end of an episode, probably. I don't want to hit the screen and make the glare pop up. But uh, I'm really going to check the time right after I grab these ingots. Make some boots. Whoa, what was that? Oh, I think I can make a nugget. Yeah, you can make an iron nugget. That's interesting. I'm not going to do it just yet. Because we're going to pickaxe. And we're actually going to make another bucket also. Iron pickaxe. That'll come in handy. I'm sure. We'll make another stone pickaxe. Because I have one that's about to break. And uh, I'm going to buck it up. And we'll actually make a flint and steel. Go ahead and pop that in the chest. Don't need that zombie flesh either. Don't need the string. We'll save that. Let's get booted up, suited up. I will probably plant some trees, I suppose. Even though it's kind of dangerous to do at night, but hey. I'm kind of gangster like that. I ain't worried about it. Alright. Let's get the sword out. down into the mine. Alright, uh, I'm actually going to save pretty soon. Here. Looks like a good save point. Alright, and check back with us on part four of, we'll need a name for this need a name for this series so we'll get back with you